Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I got my lovely assistant again because we are going to work on the Moto 4 yet again. It's going to be action packed. Barbie's, Barbie's pool's not big enough. What, you want me to go get the blackboard? Ah. Oh my god, you made a mess! It's like <laughs> everywhere. Oh, that's not right. That's, that's why there's so much tape. tape. Oh, there's a bolt in there. Yeah. So if you want to see all that and more, stick around. And this is where the cheesy intro comes in. <laughs> that one, yeah. Well, at least we're gonna have a lot of fun with this video. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with the valves. First things first, we have to remove the valve cover. It's, it's not my fault. Do you have the right size, honey? Ah, oh, that's better. The right size works better. There you go. And first valve cover is almost off. This is the exhaust valve cover. There it is. And that looks like, well, looks pretty normal to me. Let me turn on my light here. Do you know what that bar is with the little lever connected to it mm, which one this one yeah no not this one that one there yeah do you know what that's for mm, no so that is a decompressor so when you want to start the engine using the recoil mm -hmm. if you flip that over you can do one full rotation with less effort it just opens up the exhaust valve just a little bit just to help you start it that's what that's for so let's get the intake valve cover off and then we can continue on with this whole process. What have we got in this one? Also very clean. Another valve. Okay. Looks, you weren't expecting that? looks normal in there. Now let's set up the engine on top dead center so we can do the actual adjustment. So pull the spark plug and then we're gonna rotate the engine. Just You don't have to pull the spark plug, it just makes it so much easier to get it to where you need it without having it bounce back. Yeah, it's a long spark plug. <sighs> you think? Finally. Oh. How's it look? Burnt. Oh. That's not looking very good. It's pretty carbonated. We're gonna probably have to replace it. Look at all the carbon on it. Honestly, it's all black. So you know what that means, right? You know why it's all black? Because it got burnt. Well, sort of. It means that the engine has too much gas going into it. So if it, what you're looking for is a nice brown color, if it starts to look white, it means that it's running way too lean. So right now we're running too rich and it's possibly because, remember we didn't have any parts, uh, certain parts missing from our carburetor over here. So yeah. Okay, anyways, let's carry on. All right, now we're gonna remove the cap that covers the, uh, the magneto lines and all that stuff. The flywheel, sorry, I was running I was looking for that word, oh my lord. Anyways, go ahead. And by the way guys, yeah, this is our second take because I forgot to press the play button. I am not on the right side of the camera if you guys, you know, understand what I'm doing. She's normally my camera person. Oh yeah. It's not hard at all. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, you know, it, it wasn't tight because we broke it loose already. No, it was never tight. Oh, well that's actually true, yeah, it wasn't tight. I was supposed to record all that and anyways. So we've got this cap, and then we're gonna. <sighs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so you just took the temper right out of that cap now. Huh? I'm just kidding. It's an inside joke. So now we're ready to set up the timing. So we want the engine at top dead center. So you're gonna look down that hole, and I'm gonna rotate the engine. And then we're going to see some timing lines. I'll do that oh, while okay. you look, okay? All right. Well, let's go let everybody else look too. 
Let me set up the camera. Ready? Okay. Oh, Don't hit oh, me in the oh. face. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. You're going fast. I'm sorry. You have to move <sighs> nice and slow. What we're looking for specifically is a line. Okay, that's and, it, and it's probably going to have a T on it. Okay, what are, you, what are you doing? I'm filming. Yeah, you suck at it. <sighs> there, right there is perfect. Okay, but... Get ready? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> See, that's why you pull the spark plug, because if you don't... I'm pulling and it's not working. No, another way to tell... Is that tell, what we're looking for? No. Uh, okay, you know what? Hold a camera. So we switched spots, and I ended up getting it where it has to be. It is a little bit of finicky, guys, because doing it on the recoil like this, you don't have any control of it if it wants to bounce back on you, if it wants to rotate. So I actually had to rotate the engine quite a few times for it to land where I wanted it. Uh, so if you were doing this, I would recommend to take the recoil off and to do it right on the flywheel with a wrench or, you know, a socket or something like that. But anyways, we are, why don't you take a look right down here. There is a line right there. And if we actually just use the light on the camera, I got it. that is the line we're looking for. And it coincides with, you're moving, it coincides with that little notch in that hole oh this thing yeah the little notch that yeah. little notch right there so now we know that we are top dead center and the other way you can tell is your valves here are loose there's a little bit of slack especially on this one i can actually put you can hear it so that's good but this one however not so loose, it's a little on the tight side actually. So that's why we're in here. If your valves are tight, that means that they're not seating properly, which means that your compression could be lowered and makes it harder to start, lower power, all that other stuff. So now I'm gonna switch back with you and you're gonna be doing the valve adjustment. Goody. <laughs> all right, so we got the adjuster cracked loose and we are just putting in the feeler gauge now in between the valve and the rocker, of course. I told you I was going to light. Well, let me hold the other light. No, just... Good. So you guys are probably going to wonder what is the valve adjustment that we are using. Uh, I did some research and so I'm using 7th thou for the exhaust and I'm going to use 4th thou for the intake. I... The, uh, you can't get it out now? No. No, not that I can't get it out. I can take this out, so yeah. I can't turn the square anymore. Well, that's that's good. That means that you've got the adjustment you want. Now you're just going to turn yeah, turn it as tight as you can, and then yeah. turn the lock nut now. So, no, keep the gauge in place. You're not specific enough. Well, no, you might, yeah. So you keep the gauge in place. Mm -hmm. Turn the lock nut. This thing? Yeah, that's the nut. The lock nut, yes. And then you're going to tighten it up with your wrench. Okay. And why is it slow again? Okay. Okay, we're good. All right, click. Now can you take it out nice and slow? Yes. Now can you put it back in? That's the, that's the test. Because sometimes it migrates and then it goes in a little bit tighter. We're going a little bit on the looser side so that it might make a bit of noise. Might, you might hear the valves, but we're going to make sure that they seat properly. Because i got a feeling that... Uh, this engine probably hasn't had a valve adjustment in a long time and it's probably going to seat itself pretty quickly and we may have to be in here sooner rather than later so, so that looks like it fits really nice now let's just do the intake you said watch my knuckles i should watch my palm <laughs> <laughs> i'm waiting for the satisfying crack yeah that you missed last time not on this one, but remember on yes. taking off the cap? <laughs> the rocker cover. You got this. Oh. Yeah, okay. Want me to crack it loose? Sure. Okay. So what I'm, I got a bigger hand, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the palm of my hand and the frame so I can just kind of squeeze. Oh, satisfying. You were talking, you missed it. No, you could still hear it through the mic, that little crack. It's more right. of a pop. Not the best video quality here, but hopefully entertaining. Now we're going for fourth out. 
This one doesn't fit. And you've got fourth out there? Okay, you just yeah. spun it a little bit? Yeah. Okay, I got it. So now, I would say if it doesn't fit, just maybe turn the adjuster just a tiny bit so when you tighten it, it sits I where... Fingers in there. I know. It's just... You know what we can do? Maybe get a player pliers, pair of needle nose, just to see, to hold it. Keep, keep sliding the feeler gauge back and forth and you'll feel resistance. Yeah. Okay, that looks like a little bit too much resistance, so back it off just a bit, right there. Oh, see, that looks nice. That's more smooth than the other one. Okay, so now you're ready to tighten up the lock nut. And that concludes the valve adjustment. We just have to put everything back together and carry on with this project. All right, well, while we have it up on the hoist, uh, we may as well clean up all this wiring that they used for the winch because we're not going to use the winch again. So you start at the back, I'll start at the front. We need to remove the bolt. Oh, well, what do you got in there? I have no idea. It's attached to the red wire we're trying to cut off. Oh, okay. Well, let me see if I can give you a hand here. Oh, that's not right. That's, that's why there's so much tape. tape. Oh, there's a bolt in there. What is that? What is Ew. that? First of all. Ew! Oh, that's, that's not right. That's an electrical fire waiting to happen. Ugh. Okay, we'll have to keep cutting away here. Here. Uh, don't cut this off, because that looks like it goes right on the back. Yeah, that's an, they just, that's the OEM battery cover. We'll just cut this stuff. The tape? Yeah. Watch my, ah, watch my fingers. I'm not even close to your fingers. I know, I'm just being funny. Okay. So yeah, this is not the way you would do a wire termination here. If you had to splice a wire in, I don't recommend just taking a bolt and uh, doing this because it's not quite right. So, either way, where's this one going? We don't need this one, so we're going to unbolt that. We're going to unbolt that. Uh, you said the black one too. We can unbolt that because, yeah, we don't need any of that. All right, let me get my tools. All right, pull it through. Okay, well, that's going to be cleaning up the hard, the wiring a little bit. And, uh, yeah, this is something else we found. I don't know what that's all about, but it's... Very stretched out. It's pretty stretched, so... Yeah, we're going to keep this, though, because this might still be good. We'll what bench that? test that later. What is that? This is your switching relay for your winch, so... Oh, okay. This is your input, so this would just return... Or reverse the po uh, polarity so that your winch can go one way or the other so all right cool look how much cleaner that is and now we're up to the carburetor uh, we have already cleaned the carburetor uh, it's partially assembled because you did that last time or off camera which is awesome and if you guys remember in the last video we had a bit of an issue with the air screw uh, because of the turns as you see here not done? No. Oh, darn it. Okay. Oh boy. This is now, okay, now we're done. And also we found out that there was some parts missing. The uh, air screw didn't have any spring to hold it in place, so it was actually able to migrate its way out. Or it didn't have any o-ring for that matter, and there's also a little washer in there. But we purchased a whole new set from, of course, our local dealer, and you're going to put it together. Oh, and we have, we happen to know, I did some research, it's one and a half turns out for the air screw on this particular model. However, you know what, that's actually pretty, it's the same for most vehicles, like most quads and bikes that I've seen out there. One and a half turns is a really good place to start. We're going to have to tune that after anyways, but that's how we're going to get going. So let's open up the package and get the parts out. So we get the actual air screw itself. We have the spring, making sure it's the same. Good That's idea. Crusty. Good idea. So yeah, the old one is not nice. So the way it's set up, you can check the diagram if you want, but 
the spring goes first. Then we end up with the little tiny washer. And then we end up with the little o-ring, which I will also, just for fun, add a tiny bit of grease to it. So tiny. That, well, I know it's a little bit more than I wanted, but it's going to work. It'll help it seal and also stay in place. So that goes there, yep. Night, it's night, uh, lightly seated now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now from there, we go one and a half turns out. That's half. One. And one half. Right there. So that is our starting point. Now the next thing we should do is obviously finish the assembly, and that is to install our needle and our float. And that little float here you see how it's got a little like a hook on it you can hook it onto the tang so that is going to sit right in here so that's gonna hmm? yeah. there you go so the, the yeah the needle is going to drop into the bowl i oh, sorry not the bowl that is the seat actually and then you got your pin here Alright, and now we're going to just check it to see if we need to do an adjustment on it. So what I need you to do is hold the carburetor up like this, okay, and then I want you to close it, like push on that nice and lightly until it just closes. Okay, this, this has to be level. I want to show everybody. So that has to be level. Then you're going to close it until the needle just seats. And then that, okay, if I can just get the camera to zoom. So you're pushing up all the way, but I don't want you to push up all the way. Right there. And now we can see that the float is square with the bottom, or sorry, the top of the carburetor right here. So it, that matches there. And we're good. Now we can put the bowl back on. And then reassemble it. Not so bad, right? You think it's going to run good? <laughs> you don't have any confidence? No. I think it's going to run so much better. Do you know whose hands were on this thing? Yeah, Why? yours. And I trust it. You had a good, you had a good mentor. Mentor. Well, mentor. Why? It doesn't matter. Just I've done this before, so hopefully I didn't steer you wrong. It would, Okay, what are you trying to do? You're trying to get the choke in yeah, place? it's not working. No, it's okay. Don't panic. Take a breath. When stress starts to take its toll, take five and take back control. Oh, that's that's always something to remember. That's my dad speaking. Yeah, that's, I, I actually use that at work sometimes just because I, th I think it actually works. Just do it. It's me. cheesy, and because it's cheesy, people listen. I don't know. Do you guys out there have do a it. Do you guys out there have a special line when you're you know stressed out about something like that, you know, walk away or Yeah, get over it. Go go smoke a dart or I don't know. We're in Canada. That's how we say take a smoke. A. A, right? Let's <laughs> do it for me. All right, we'll hold the camera then. We switch spots again cuz I can't do nothing. All right. Well, this one is a tricky one. I have to quite be honest about that. Okay, so there you go. Now, oh my God. now that it started, it's because it's at an angle, honey, and yeah, the threads. I am sorry. Ah, see, I'm not the only one that has an issue with the filming. As yeah, you can tell, we are not professional YouTubers yet. Ah, I said yet. Maybe one day. One day. That'd be cool. That'd be fun. Okay. Do you want to do the rest now? I totally do this. So now something that we need to put in on top here is the plunger. And that, if you follow the throttle, because we had to take all that apart, so the throttle cables 
Up there oh, somewhere? I know where it is. Remember I that? Somewhere. Where did I put it? I don't know. Where did you put it? It was dangling. We had kind of put it out of the way so it wouldn't get damaged. But we've been I'm moving stuff around. Thing. This is a big cap, which is actually, oh, it's right there. Okay. So make sure, yeah. One important part about this is you got to make sure that it's clean and that yeah, it's fine. seal has to go all the way inside the cap. Yes. That needle also has to go down the center of the throat. So, okay, hold on. See how there's a, see how it's split there? Split what? What? Oh, bring it back up. See how that's oh. split? There is a groove or a notch inside the... Which one? There's two. Well, there's one that's going to be smaller than the other. Yeah, and that has to line up. Tiny one there. Yeah, that has to line up. And you yeah, might have to turn right. it. There you go. Well, that's actually fell in really nicely. Sometimes a needle... I told you I'm a professional. Yeah, Ew. you are. You are. I... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're in each other's way. I'm trying to do the best I can so that everybody can see. All right. Oh, I keep touching my those grease. My yeah, so I, I had put grease, guys, on the intake side. There's an O-ring there. I like to put grease so that it can uh, not stick and just promote a better seal. And that's nice and tight. All right. Doesn't this swallow it? Yes, it does. Okay, so I'm not going crazy. All right, so we tag teamed it, and it's on there. Okay, so we have grease over here. That's what I was talking about earlier, a little bit tacky. But that's going to help seal right up against the intake flange right there. Ready? So go ahead. You can, first of all, you got to put that in. Put that hose right there. That's your Too vent hose. It just, way. certain things are easier to do now than when it's all installed. I know, but there's so much. Now my hands are greasy. <laughs> it makes it even better to work <laughs> with now. Does that count as honor? And it's got to go all the way down because you don't want it to fly off. Come on. Sometimes you can use the grease that's on your hands and put it on the barb. That's the fitting. Yeah, it just <laughs> yeah, it just helps things kind of slide down. And of course, if you there you oh, go. It actually works. Well, of course it works. It's so dumb. That, I tried it anyway. That is an that's a that's a <laughs> hack. I'm calling down a mechanic hack right there. Is that is that how far it has to go in? Yes. Oh. Well, actually, it can go a little bit further, but I'm okay with that <laughs> because it's down the first barb. We will put it on all the way when it's on the bike because right now you're okay. probably struggling since <laughs> everything's moving. Oh, probably. So yes, this is going to be the fun part. So you're gonna have to line up, yes. That intake boot there. That's go on first, all the way on. I'm trying to put it on. This is all live, guys. Live this is a real life struggle. struggle. <laughs> I've actually struggled. And that grease trick works on that part too. All right, take three or four, two. Or five. Two. I don't know, it's take two. It's take two. I had to make some kind of a statement you're almost there I have it on except I okay can't pop the so rest. now you can I, I can help you there you go just pull on I have the it on my own okay man there you go it's still on great job great job oh come on you put all that on my arm okay so now yes you're gonna tighten up that clamp yeah, before we uh, get into the oil change, I figured since it's kind of part of the carburetor, you should probably check the air filter. Because I did buy an air filter uh, online, actually, because the price was pretty good. And it's just a foam filter element anyways. So, let's, Ready? Yeah, let's see what it looks like. Because I'm, if it's anything like the Big Bear, it's going to be, oh, this yeah, it's going to be like that. It's full of oil. What is in there? Oil. <laughs> oh, no way. No That's way. That's gross. not good. Exactly, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. that thing was running somewhat. Maybe that's why it was running so badly, though. Is that oil or what is it? You're gonna lick it now. Oh, no, I'm not gonna lick it. Oh, uh, you know what? It just seems like. Looks yeah. like oil, smells like oil. Oh, you know, it's gas. It's that that is gas. That smells like gas big time. Worse. Yeah, it's kind of like. Yeah, that's gas. Okay, so now there is a drain at the bottom of that. So let's go get How a catch can. can because I just know. Oh, because if you go down here, dun, 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 right, don't turn the 
there, there's a drain. And unfortunately, that's going to make a big mess. Daddy, so, that's my little lane. Well, <laughs> let's go get the drain and see what we can do. Right. Okay, let's hope that I don't make a huge mess here. I should be doing this. So I don't make a mess. Well, actually, that's true because I do make messes all the time. I'm going to try and the go. Bucket. Oh, yeah. the bucket. I got the bucket underneath. It's just right there. Uh, Barbie pool. <laughs> it's just, it's a really terrible spot. It is a Barbie pool. You you remember this one, don't you? It's just such a terrible spot because it's going to probably follow the swing arm. Uh, oh, so far it's going in there. Oh, it is following the swing arm too. Where's it going to go now? Barbie's Barbie's pool is not big enough. What, you want me to go get the black one? Uh, oh my god, you made a mess! It's like <laughs> everywhere. Oh no, how much is in there? Stop! <laughs> You're gathering nothing! Oh no, the light! It's full of gas now. Oh. Okay, well I, I got I got some of that. Stop. <laughs> Look at the oh. floor! Oh I gotta okay, we okay, gotta so mop that up. That's what he got, and this is what ended up on the floor. Oh and look at the line. look at the nastiness in the cap too. That's horrible. Ooh. Oh okay. Well, I guess we'll have to make, we'll have to clean this up before we put the well in it. Oh, well, I guess we do. Hmm. Well, that was quite the mess. Um, you know what, this video is probably getting pretty long at this point, guys. So I think it's probably a good idea to stop it here. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you do like the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing and all that good stuff that everybody says all the time. But in the next video, we will have this thing running. That's the plan. We want to show it running because it will run. We're going to put some plastics on. We're going to finish the front end. Still a lot of work to do. But anyways, if you guys are watching to this point, thank you so much. And I will see you all in the next video. Now i got to clean up this big mess. This has got to be the biggest one.